Here we are just entered this coral lagoon. The same coral that make up the fringing reefs is also present inside the lagoon. That can be small coral heads or bommies. Some of these can come close to the surface but many lie just on the seabed and can be a little trap for our anchor chain. What happens is as the boat spins around, the chain maps its way around the seabed and gets caught under these little coral heads and that can cause us a real problem. Our solution is to not drop all of the chain onto the seabed. We lower down two times the depth of the water, chain on the seabed, and then we attach these little floats to the anchor chain. This just holds it a little bit above the surface and prevents it from getting caught on the coral heads. You've still got the right amount of chain out. If you get a sudden gust, the boat will still pull back and tighten up on the chain, so we still have the weight and the cantinary effect. We've found this works very well. Okay, I'm happy here. We're currently in 10 meters of water. So we're going to drop 20 metres straight off, hopefully in a nice sandy patch, and it's looking pretty good. Okay, that yellow mark there, that marks 20 metres. We're going to tie on our first ball. meters. Final ball. Meters. Now we're just checking to check that the boat is holding. So we're going to slowly motor back until it comes tight. With your foot on the chain, you can feel if there's any vibration if it's dragging the anchor at all. Just before the chain comes tight, we're going to stop the boat so we don't rip it out. Have a little look around. Okay, that feels good. Okay, just put on our chain hook and our snubber, and then we're good for the night.